what was that? Oh, those were steps that I've been taking to get places to get my book published. Yes! Hey friends, I'm Joel Kralski, the super brave teacher, and I am working really hard on two big things. Well, lots of big things. There's also this whole thing called teaching that I do. There's also this thing called living. But on the side, I'm also doing this channel to tip Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. So if you want to help a teacher like me, a gay teacher, a proud gay teacher like me, tip the world in a radically positive and accepting way for all. Like this channel, share this channel, do what you do to get the word out because it is important. So thank you. I also have been working on my other side hustle of writing the teacher book that doesn't exist. As you know, friends, I've been sharing with you updates. I've written the book. It's ready to go. It's ready to be edited and it's ready to be published with the exception of one thing. I don't have a publisher yet and that's okay. That's okay, Joel. You're doing great because guess what? You've never done it before and that's okay. So what do you do to find a publisher? Publishers, no, you have to find, I've been talking to a lot of people and a lot of friends and what you gotta do is find a literary agent. So the literary agent is the person who connects you to the connection, to the connection, to the connection to publish the book to those publishers. So I'm not gonna be like, hi, Penguin Random, Random House Audio, can you just publish my book please and then do a great audio book with me reading it? Wouldn't that be great? Okay, oh, you want to? No, Monday doesn't work for me. Tuesday? No, you gotta have connections. So I thought it'd be fun for me to share with all of you my query letter. Yep, I'm gonna take a risk and share with you what I have been sending out to all of these literary agents. The query letter is kind of like the sample letter. It says, hey, this is what I got. This is what I wrote. This is what I'm thinking of doing. And I would love to work with you. So I'm gonna share with all of you. And don't worry, I have my little nerdy little Excel spreadsheet with all of the literary agents who I'm sending it to and I'm gonna personalize each of them and I, ha I know exactly what I, why I wanna write them and I have it all set so when I hear no, when I hear no, I know who's next on the list and when I wanna keep contacting and keep contacting because like I said, this book needs to exist. So right now, I'm gonna do a dramatic interpretation of my query letter and I hope you like it. And just to let you know, there are a few swear words in it. So if you watch this video with children, please, let them leave the room for about two minutes. Thank you. Nonfiction proposal query letter for Joel Karlovsky. The best teachers are quitting the profession. I'm talking about that teacher. I'm talking about the type of teacher that any parent dreams of having for their child or that teacher who inspired you to be your best self. As a teacher for over 10 years, internationally and nationally, I see and know that reality because I have been on the verge of quitting many times. Not because I sucked at teaching, but because I was suffocating. No teaching book exists for teachers like me. A book that takes us seriously. A book that uses real language because it gives a fuck about teachers. A book that doesn't just quote sages quotes or obsess over research that by itself is snoozeworthy on a good day. I'll say it and I encourage you to say it with me. No one cares about that shit. Not teachers anyway. A quote doesn't teach a child how to be mindful and take deeper breaths than they think are humanly possible. Data doesn't inspire me to impact my students' lives profoundly and to listen to them like real people. Research alone cannot motivate me to act and stand up for the underdog or myself. That is why you are a badass teacher. How to stop faking it and start being the best, healthiest teacher you know. My book needs to exist. Teachers are burning out before they can shine. Teachers are looking around and finding hidden curriculums and school cultures. Teachers don't know how to be that teacher because they're getting lost in politics and policies. I see it around me all the time in the education world. There are no teacher books that take educators seriously enough to promote and advocate for teachers' true self-care on their way to self-actualization. 
my book does just that. I'm not gonna bombard you with statistics on teachers, how many there are in the world, how many quit. I am going to insist and hope that you give this book a chance. As a Spanish immersion kindergarten teacher, I model for my students how to mindfully solve whatever problem is in front of them and how to take risks. So here I am presenting a solution to a global issue of teachers faking it, burning out and leaving this life-changing profession. I'm taking a risk because while I'm very fluent in the educational realm, I am brand new to professional writing and publishing. Teachers will read and debate this book. Teachers will share this book. Administrators will read and question this book. Professors will secretly read this book. Families will give this book as a gift to that badass teacher in their life. Teachers in any capacity, parents, leaders, bosses, and the like, will either love or hate this book. Either outcome is okay with me. All I know is that this book needs to exist. So I'll end with a simple who, what, when, where, why, how teaching strategy we use in class. Who? Joel Karlowski, Rockstar Kindergarten Teacher, Golden Apple Teacher Award finalist. What? You are a badass teacher. How to stop faking it and start being the best, healthiest teacher you know. Nonfiction book, 85,000 words already completed and easily editable. Edit editable. <laughs> Where? Minneapolis, Minnesota. My school, Woodcrest Spanish Immersion, is in suburban Fridley, Minnesota. Win 2017. Why? The best teachers are leaving and are resenting the profession. This book shows educators in any facet how to be their best healthiest self. How? You partnering with me or helping me find someone who can. Thank you for being you. Thank you for taking the time to take a kindergarten teacher like me seriously. Stay brave, Joel Karlovsky. So there you have it, friends. That's my query letter. That's what I've been sending out to literary agents. And please send some love my way. Send some good energy my way. Pray for me. Do whatever you do to get the word out about this. And if you know anybody, if you have connections, please let me know. I am a good teacher, but I'm a great learner and I wanna learn this. I wanna learn the best way to get this book into people's hands. So we have teachers who are taking care of themselves and really becoming the best version of themselves, being the best, healthiest teachers they know. I am so excited for this book to exist. It needs to exist because it's something that I need to read again and again, and it's something that I'm excited to promote and to just advocate for. Not, how can we teach like Finland? That's important. But first, I think we got to take care of ourselves so that we can teach like Finland, so that we can teach like Japan, so that we can teach like the best educators that are out there in the world. And that starts with books like this. So thank you for watching this video, friends. Share this video, like this video, do what you do. I want to say that you are appreciated, and thanks for listening. I really appreciate that. You are loved, you are awesome, just for being you. And Joel, you're doing it. <coughs> step by step, keep stepping away. You are appreciated, you are loved, you are enough. Whether this book is a big deal or a little deal, you're gonna make it work because that's what you do. Bye, friends. Ooh.